Hi, hopefuls. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. So, mom and I went to Dollar Tree today. Sorry, I don't put my cord up. Dollar Tree today, and we picked up a couple of, um, well, I picked up several items. It was some things that she wanted, so I just tagged along. Of course, I knew it was going to be not really picked over, but a little, because it's Saturday. It was Saturday, Saturday evening. So, anyway, I wanted to go with her to get, like, some packaging stuff before it gets picked over. I know at my Dollar Trees, it may be the same at your Dollar Tree. You have to check back periodically from this time period to Christmas or a little bit before Christmas before the good wrapping paper is almost gone or the good gift bags are gone. Okay, y'all. So, over here... I got some decorative cake trays. I really don't go in the party section unless I'm needing something or looking for something over there. So these may have been out for a while now. I like that it has like this little riser here. And anyway, I got two of those. I thought they'd be good for Christmas and Thanksgiving. Hopefully it will hold up even Christmas. I'll wash them out or whatever. Um, I got some tissue paper. I may have some in my craft closet, but... You know how sometimes you just have to go in the store. You don't need tissue paper, but you have to go in the store just to get tissue paper. And then you're standing in line for just one thing. So I went ahead and got it. Then I got a box. And this week, Aldi is going to, this Thanksgiving week, hopefully I have this up so you guys know what I'm talking about. This Thanksgiving week, if you pull up their app, I have their app on my phone so I keep up with what's coming up next week and the boxes are gonna be on sale. Usually they're a good price and you get several of them. So I'm gonna get those and I think they have the gift bags as well. So I only got one big two pack of boxes here. And then I got four bags, Merry Christmas. I probably need to get some smaller bags too. So when I just don't feel like wrapping, then I won't feel bad putting it in a bag. I was looking for the African-American Santa Claus. I seen someone post it. Um, Juanita, hey Juanita, if you're watching, she posted it and cut it out and put it in a frame. But my store did not um, have it. So, Merry and Bright. Probably haven't checked another Dollar Tree. They probably haven't put it out yet or I missed it. Hopefully I didn't miss it. And this one here, Tis the Season to be Jolly. So I got those, and then I got four, no, three, I put one back. Um, wrapping paper with the peanuts and two of the Mario Brothers. They also had Paw Patrol, I put that back. They had Mickey Mouse, and they had Minions, and everything else was a blur. <laughs> you don't get a lot on these, y'all. Usually it's about 25 square feet. Um, they're Hallmark, yeah. So the paper is, yeah, it's only 20 square feet. The paper is a little thick, so yeah, all three of these are Hallmark. Uh -oh. Because some of the Dollar Tree ones, the paper is thin and, you know, they rip. So I got three of these, so we wouldn't have to be washing dishes. I probably should have got one more, but I think I may have some already. And then I got um, some sugar-free to add to preps. I may put this in the locker and lock it up. So when I say the locker, if you haven't been watching um, my prepper videos, I have one where I was showing mm, where I found a pressure canner. I'll put the video above. And I was sharing, I think it was around back to college campus time and I ordered these lockers. And so I have two of them and I have like sweets and snacks and stuff in it. Cause if I just put it up here and I think what I'm gonna do to solve my problem here, y'all, I'm going to buy some baskets and I just hate to take them out of the packaging because then they're going to think it's like free game to buy, to pick up whatever, you know, um, open whatever, do whatever. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to lock these up because they love sugar free and in order to, yeah, in order to keep anything, yeah, this is a pretty good date. I have to put it away for later or they'll eat it all up and it won't be anything but these sun kiss ones you don't get but six in it so they at least can give you at least eight i got some 3m tape i should have got two of these 
because it was hard to find them at one time. So this is a really thick packaging tape. Of course, you need it for the holidays and stuff like that, for mail and stuff. But I use it a lot of times to help me when I'm decorating or something. And I just need, like for example, let me show you. Is it still sticking? No, it's not sticking. I probably need some more tape. Like if you need your bow or something to stick, usually that tape is so heavy duty that it will um, stay in place. So I probably need more than one piece of tape. As a riser, so like if you're decorating, well, this is not flat, but if you have like a plate, you can put a plate up here that's flat at the bottom or, sorry, y'all moving that stool like a sign or something and it doesn't have a easel on the back you can use the candlestick as a stand so you can use it for so many different things and give you different heights and stuff when you have your little buffet scapes so that's why i went ahead and picked these up and you can paint them if they're not they are not the right color but white goes with just about everything and they also have them in black and of course you can use them for centerpieces Okay, I got three of these socks. I've been wearing these lately, and I like them because they're comfortable, they're stretchy, and they're not super thick. I do like thick socks, especially the padding at the bottom, And but these are pretty padded pretty well, but my feet get hot, and sometimes I like to be barefooted, but then my feet do, my kids are up there playing video games, so if you hear them hollering, but they are thin enough where they are breathable, but if my feet gets cold and my whole body's cold, and so I just like um, these um, socks. So I picked up some more. I probably should have picked up two more because my socks, like I said before, y'all get missing. It's like you tell them to fold up the clothes when, it's, when you want them to fold up the clothes and you rather fold them up yourself so you can get your socks back because they'll try to put them in their, stock, in their stack. Okay, y'all, so I saw this picture frame. I thought it was super cute and they had them in like yellow, blue, I don't remember if they had another color, but it's pink and it was hard to find one because all of them seemed like they were scratched up somewhere, but this was probably about the best one. And this is what it looks like on the back. So I thought that'd be good or cute to put in my little craft room. And this eyeglass repair kit. So I picked this up today. I remembered to pick it up for eyeglasses. Probably should have got two of these for a dollar, but you get the little screws. Looks like little pads. I don't think I have that on my glasses. I have to see if Jason does. I know his old glasses and the screwdrivers and stuff. Magnetic um, bookmarks. And these, they had two or three other designs. But these are the ones that I like the best. And I asked mama, does she need any? And I definitely need this like in um, my books, my faith-based books. You can put them in any book. But... Um, in my Bible. So sometimes I turn down the page and you still can't find the page. And then um, I'm reading the fervent prayer, I think, or the fervent, I think that's the name of the book by Priscilla Schreier. And then what is my, oh, my devotional book. And then I have a, another devotional book at nighttime and probably something else. So um, in the daily bread, I do have daily bread on my phone, but the daily bread um, physical copy so sometimes you lose your page and you just need these so these were on time today you get six on for a dollar um the wooden dominoes i like to pick up like these little games so we can have something to play even though they love to get into those video games but i'm gonna make them get off and we're gonna um schedule some time and they're gonna play some games um, especially if it's like well anyway but you know during the holidays or quarantine instead of just sitting here you know scrolling on the phones and stuff so i got the wooden dominoes i don't remember how to play but jason may know or we can google it i'm sure jj is like the little um smarty pants <laughs> so he will go and google it right quick to figure out how to play he may already know then i saw this all of this was like on the toy owl so deal or no deal card game and then we have so many different family feud games so i picked this one up anyway because i got one for christmas i believe for them from big lots the boys love marshmallows. I don't care for marshmallows, but they love them. I don't know if Jason does or not. So I have to lock these up because they will go in there and just eat it like it's popcorn or chips or like candy. 
So I'm going to lock these up because I may use it for a recipe or whatever. So I got two of those. I kept forgetting that I need some of these elastics and I actually like the Giddy ones that kind of, they're thicker than this, but they're, they're wider than this, but they're thinner and they look like a tie, but I have not seen those come back in stock. So I, anyway, I picked up these today for my hair. And then I also got this coconut oil. I was all out. So usually after I wash my hair, I like to run this down my scalp and then it's already moisturized somewhat. And um, also the tea tree. And I think you can use this on your skin. Let's see, I was not focusing. So let me see. Yeah, hair, body, and scalp. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so I was also put on my little list to get some peppermints, but they didn't have any regular peppermints. All they had was the, what's it called? The um, spearmint. I do not like those. So I got these, the Red Bird. And did y'all know they have these in all different types of flavors? We went on a candy aisle. They have them in blue raspberry, cotton candy, some other ones too. And I was like, hmm. But I got these, I should have got two to put in our little um, candy dish over here. And I never really show, the boys sometimes ask for candy. I really never show it and I might put it up because they ain't even asked for it. So yeah, because I've been meaning to get some snacks from the Dollar Tree and like put them in the trunk. So I may just put them up. So I got some Sour Patch Kids. Um, I love turtles, so I got those for me. Some Peach Ring, JJ loves these, I don't know why. They nasty, <laughs> not nasty, but I, I don't know why. He just love them, y'all. And then, yeah, something on here on my counter. And some trolleys. So, um, I got those. I don't know why they like those either. And then, uh, JJ is always asking for batteries for his game. So, I got him, talk a little bit lower. I got him a controller for Christmas that came today to plug in because um, I can't take, he asked for batteries and he asked for batteries for my stash. And then I got these batteries just for backup because he's been asking for all my batteries. So that's it. I think I'm going to add Sam's to this, y'all, at the end and show you what happened. Okay, the package that came today, I'm going to show that last. And now I'm going to clip all the other stuff that came. And I have to take you upstairs to show you Cottrell's like pullover. I think they call them Sherpers, Sharpers. Sharpa, I don't know y'all, Sharp, Sharpers. So I'll show you um, his too. It is so soft. And if you have a membership, it'd be good for someone. I wish they had it in Jason size, but it's a XL and it's super soft. So I know he would need it. Okay guys, so this is the next day and I only got one package. Um, I don't think they're gonna come again today. So I only got one little package today. And these are the lids for the aluminum pans that I picked up when I went actually went to the store so you can't order the lids I think they're six or seven dollars and I know you can just put some foil on it but when you when you have leftovers it's just easier to stack and then if you're doing um freezing meals too and this is the half size and they were out of stock but I'm glad they came back in stock and I hurried up <laughs> and click and um, order these. You get 36 in here and I um, already have the, again, the other, the pans that I got. And you can get the pans online or you can get them in the warehouse. So that's it for today. Okay, y'all. So this is what the box looked like when I got it on the porch. So I was like, oh no, something else is busted. All right, y'all. So, um, I'm just going to call them on Monday. I was trying to figure out what is busted that I got. Mayonnaise. So, their mayonnaise was, um, I think, an instant savings, $2 off, $4.98. And um, I opened it up before we left. Oh, okay. I opened it up before I left. So, I'm going to clean this other stuff off and see what it looks like. Let's see. It's plastic, so. But I'm gonna have to throw the other way. And um, they didn't put no um, bubble wrap in here. So I'm gonna wipe this off. I got some more of these because we 
we ate um, one or two packs. I had some loose packs that I got from Food Line. I'm glad this was wrapped in plastic. But I have to examine it and make sure nothing got inside. And then I got some more chunk tuna. I'll show you the other chunk tuna. Let's see if I can pick this up without it slipping. Okay. I got some more um, bumblebee tuna. I did get some star kiss the other day. It did come damaged too at the bottom. And since I'm calling them about, I was gonna let that slide, but since I'm gonna call them about this um, mayonnaise, I'm gonna go ahead and call and tell them about the tuna. So the tuna, I realized that we eat about, we eat about six of them at a time um, when everybody eats. Maybe a little bit more because Trail was not here that evening. But I make six, and of course, you know, it beefs it up or, you know, bulks it up some. We put the onions and the eggs and all the other stuff in it. So I was like, ho, oh, wait a minute. You need more than this because y'all see it's one, two, three, four, five. That's one whole side right there. Even though if that's all that you had to eat, you'll eat less. But y'all get the point. I only had, I didn't have as much tuna as I thought. And I probably don't have enough chicken breast for a family of five. And I probably don't have something else I don't have enough of. Salmon. Salmon. Somebody was correcting me on that. Salmon. So, anyway, y'all. Let me show you. I think it's another. I think I'm going to get some peanut butter and another shipment. Um, Jason's back to not eating regularly, but eating eating <laughs> so i didn't realize that he just opened up one of the crunchy peanut butters they already opened one peanut, so it was only one aldi peanut butter and one big you know that big peter pan i was like oh lord so i'm gonna have to put that on my list when i go on monday to pick up whatever i'm gonna pick up for thanksgiving which is not much but i think i'm gonna go ahead and get a full big ham so hold on y'all so, yeah, so this is the tuna that I have, which is not that much. Three of these, if we eat six of those, so three of those, it was all the way to the top. And then it's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 14 of the Aldi cans back there in the back, this little short can. There is four right here. Um, these right here were crushed. Let me put this down. So this came, if I get it. Well, not crushed, but dented. So this was in the bottom of this one. You see how this one's dented? This is the one I got the other day. See the bottom dented? And um, I was gonna let it slide and just use those first. But since I'm calling them about the mayonnaise, I'm going to go ahead and tell them. Um, I did get a request to show this, so I'll do it after Thanksgiving, y'all. If you see that some things have a little, you know, it's not all the way to the front because they've been eaten. So I only have one peanut butter and then that big one. Although it is one in the pantry that they're working on. And Jason just opened up a crunchy peanut butter, you know, the Jif 2 pack that they have at Sam's. So I'm like, okay, y'all need some more peanut butter. But everything else is, I may need one more ketchup, but, and maybe one more barbecue sauce. This is because it's kind of heavy and I forgot. Other than peanut butter, that might be what it is. But I did order the boys some slippers and it's taking forever. When you order clothes, it takes a minute to get here. So I know this is not slippers in here. <laughs> Well, I was wrong, so it was peanut butter. So here's the twin pack of jiff, and it came in one piece. And sorry, y'all, for um moving the stove back and forth. That's what that noise is. So let me take you upstairs and show you um Catrell's little pullover in case you want to purchase it for the man in your life. Hold on, or woman. Okay, y'all, so I got this the other day in a Sam's haul. Sam's delivery, I'm sorry. And I got his um, Sherpa, Sherpa. And I got it in an extra large. And he works in the grocery side. 
So you guys know, you know, when you go on Walmart, you know, on the grocery side, especially in the wintertime, it's cold. So I thought I'd get this for him. It's a really good quality. Let's see, does it gather? Not really. But really, really good quality. They had other colors. I think it was part of their Black Friday savings. So hopefully it's still this price. Um, they did have other colors and other sizes. Um, but the XL was the largest. And I just wish they had at least a 3X for Jason. Um, he usually up top wears a 3X. So, and then it has pockets. So, I hope Trail like it. It's really warm. And I thought that was a good price. $12 for that. So, that's it, y'all. That's it for... Yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm still waiting on their little slippers. But they're like 7 or $8. You probably see them on their site. Sam's don't have that much stuff. Clothes and stuff. But that's it. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye. Okay, guys, so what I did was I called Sam's. Um, I wasn't sure if they were still open, but I was like, they probably are because it's still early. And I said, let me go ahead and just don't put this off. So I, I'm going to get ready to throw this away. I cleaned everything else off, and it was plastic. Looks like it's a little grease, you know, on the packaging. But it doesn't look terrible. And something told me to open up the tuna. So she's going to send me another tuna. Hopefully it's fine. When they shipped it out, last time when it was damaged, the chicken, it came in one piece. And then I think it was the jam and something else. I don't remember. So something said I couldn't get all the mayonnaise out of the packaging, wiping it off with the sanitizer wipe. So I was like, let me open it. And I saw where one was already at the bottom, didn't it? But all of these were dented too, and I just, I hate to be a pest. So, but, I, you know, two I let slide, but all of these is a seven. Um, yeah, seven were dented. See y'all? And four or five of them are just fine. So what she did, I guess it was easier to just do a refund. Um, I'm surprised they don't make you, you know, send in pictures or anything, but... It's best to get, if you can, I know, you know, people are probably going to stay in more, but if you can, get your chicken and your tuna or, you know, your meat cans, if you can, get them in person. And then I, and even if you make one thing at a time, like I did with the tuna, it still came um, dented. So if you can, get it in the store. If you can't, then just just eat these first <laughs> just eat those first put dented on them and make sure you eat them first they have a long expiration date 